What's going on guys? Good morning. How's your day going? Hope you had a fantastic Halloween. I'm just heading home from Windsor and I swung by the Bear Creek gas station. If you're from Canada, you you know how much ex or how expensive gas is here. I know in the States it's really cheap, but here we pay way too much. So anyways, in London right now, it's like a buck 15 all the way up to a buck 30. And uh, Win or Amber's from Windsor, so I'm always driving back and forth from London to Windsor. And I usually swing by Middlemas uh, on Melbourne, Melbourne Road here at the Bear Creek gas station. And it's always about 20 to 30 cents cheaper, so it's 101.9 right now. So if you guys need cheaper gas, this is the way to go, especially if you're driving a truck that costs, you know, 130 to 140 bucks to fill. In London, I'd probably be like 150, so. I should get like a, I should get a Volkswagen but uh, anyways yeah I just figured I'd tell you let you guys know I'm sure a lot of you know already that you can swing by here but for those who don't and do lots of driving you can always swing by here anyways headed home gonna get the dirt bike and head over to go road and go rip some motos so you know the days are getting shorter the weather's getting crappier and I just want to keep pumping out content so let's go get that bike and uh, swing some motos back in the house what's going on guys just got home lots of driving i just realized i haven't put my dirt bike tire back on my dirt bike but we got to change over just looking at the merch store here i've added a few more things we got the canadian one the camo one all the 408 stuff ltd moto camo the black one if you guys don't know this too if you click on them there's a whole bunch of different designs too there's uh you know women's uh and then there's kids as well the junior perfect t and then up here you can also click on sweaters as well sweaters and all the fun stuff so there's sweaters cell phone cases um prints stickers if you want 408 stickers so i uh, i've been trying to advertise the merch store kind of get it more out there and do as many designs as possible i'm just you know letting everyone know through all the social media so i haven't had a merch store up for I think almost a year now so I'm, I'm glad I got her back going again and hope to get some more designs up there soon but if you want to check it out there's the link below it's uh, the design by humans one and then I think there's a 15% discount too if you sign up for like, put your email in or whatever so check that out anyways let's go uh, get that dirt bike tire on and head to the track what a rainy cold kind of humid day today it's weird out it's like very damp. Anyways, what's going on guys? I'm trying to continue this video from yesterday. Is that a blue jay over there? No, I don't know. Um, it started raining last night, so we never ended up going dirt biking. And I forgot that my tire was off my dirt bike, so I'm gonna put that back on. Just been trying to get work done, you know, the usual, all the fun stuff. Sent out some proposals to other YouTubers for collaborations. Cause that would be fun to do i want to start collaborating with people because you know i do a little bit but it's time to do more you know let's grow let's grow together i want to get to a million subscribers i think that would be super cool and awesome and it would be a lot easier to fund a lot more toys fill this garage up so we can do more of a variety every day i mean we have a pretty good variety going right now but i want to do more of a variety i know we do some pretty cool stuff but i want to do really cool stuff I want to skydive naked upside down on fire, jump in a car backwards. <laughs> How cool would that be? Anyways, yeah, so I'm just uh, getting things ready, heading up to North Bay there. Maybe tonight now? I think the 400's open now. There was a huge accident on Highway 400. Um, I think it was like 14 vehicles or something, like two gas tankers. They blew up. A few people died. That's pretty sad, but... Uh, Pretty crazy stuff. So there's been a lot going on in the news right now too, like that, um, that terrorist attack in New York, that's pretty sad too. And uh, what else was there? I don't know, there's just so much going on. Oh, here comes the rain. It's hard to see, but more rain, more rain. So I'm gonna get this, this uh, dirt bike tire on, some fresh meat. Matt Hain helped me uh, change it the other night. And then, uh, 
I'd say rip it to the barn and wash it, but I'll probably just get muddy on the way to the barn anyway. So all the rubber. <laughs> Good thing I went riding first, so I caked the whole inside of this with dirt and then did the burnout. So this rubber will definitely come off a lot easier. That's for sure. Anyways, let's get this fresh tire on. Look at that. Whoo! Look at that edge. Oh, everyone's always ripping me apart because I'm burning tires off. But you know, once they get past a certain point, it's like, I know they'd be good for some people, but for when you're on track and when you put as many hours as I have on different machines, you, you like fresh tires all the time. Because once you get past that edge, you come around the corner and it just feels like it's slipping out. It's amazing though, when you ride a tire, down to a certain point and you get so used to that and then you put fresh tires on it's like night and day it's like oh my god it's like a razor just jamming into the dirt and grabbing so <sighs> all right let's throw this tire on out of all the things you put on a dirt bike tires actually go on fairly easy you really just slide her back in there slide the chain on spin it around hopefully it goes on and then put the nut back on, tighten her up. Boom, done. Slid on like a glove. We got some posters going out to fans for the, the um, comment contest I do on YouTube. I got a parcel apparently. If you guys, you know how I always do when I post a new video, I put First hundred comments will be entered in for posters. Yes, I actually do send out posters. So here's a bunch going out. I'm gonna go to the post office, send those out. And yeah, it's kind of getting stopped raining. So when I get back, I'm gonna take the drone for a test flight and then maybe go rip one of the cars real quick and then I'm out to North Bay. So I'll be ending this video, but uh, hopefully we can get out there. I'd like to get out, you know, before Derek. <laughs> I hate that it gets dark so early now. It's so annoying. By the time all my friends are done work, it's 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 dark. So they should get a cool job like me. Like start a YouTube channel. You can do whatever you want. Good old Thorndale, where dreams come true. Let's get rid of this stuff. Send her out. What do we got? What do we got? I'm trying not to post my phone number again. <laughs> that is a package from eBay. I got a Canon camera battery couple packages today just rip this one open it's my new Canon battery you can either buy a Canon one that's like a hundred bucks at a store or you get this one on eBay I think it was like 20 bucks so for how much I use my camera definitely way worth it and a few samples showed up from the 408 store so this is the vertical 408 shirt looks pretty snazzy and then this is the the normal 408 one. Pretty fancy. Nice, nice material too. So if you guys want to order any 408 merch, uh, the link's below. It's the designbyhumans.com Mark Freeman 408 one. Um, check it out. Anyways, Jay's coming over. I'm going to take the drone for a quick flight, make sure it still runs. And then I think we're going to go down the track and rip the Jeep around for a bit. So let's do it. Rainy, rainy, foggy, foggy. It has stopped raining, thank God. It's a little chilly, but it's pretty, it's like, it's damp out. So I'm gonna run a t-shirt just cause I'm only staying out for a few minutes. This friggin' drone, I picked it up from the hobby shop yesterday. As you guys know, I crashed it a few months ago. Broke the legs on it. Anyways, finally they fixed it. The parts were super hard to get. And then uh, I picked it up and it was connecting to the controller, but it wasn't, the controller wasn't connecting to the phone. That makes sense. So like nothing would show up on the screen, on the GPS or anything. But when I got home, I tried it again and it worked. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that it works right now. I'm gonna take it for a test flight. Hopefully it doesn't get out there and decide to quit and fall into the water or anything. Cause I would be mad. My dad would be mad. People would be mad. It wouldn't be well because he's going to Vegas with it next week. So anyways, let's uh, fire it up and go for a quick flight.
All right, quick drone flight. She was flying pretty good. I had to calibrate everything. It was being all shaky. And I think I got to up, update all the firmware and stuff. Anyways, we're back at the track. We got old Jay here. Look at this. So slippery. We basically slid in here sideways. She is bare bones. Bare bones. Yeah, it's not much to it. Should we drive it through fire? The plastic might melt off. Might have to cover up this window. Didn't bring any passengers today. <laughs> the Grand Tour. Wow. Surprised they didn't take the seatbelts out too. Nice. Hopefully there's some gas in it. Anyways, we figured we'd take her for a quick spin to wrap up this video. Look at Sunflower. She's done. She's better days. <laughs> she had a good roll, eh? Alright, let's fire this thing up and uh, take her mud. Look at all the mud down here. Let's fire that weapon up. We got her boosted. This thing is loud. It's definitely basically a yeah, Derby Cherokee. Cherokee. Ah. Let me wiggle her around for you. Look at this battery. That's professional right there. For the gas! Oh, come on! Oh, you gotta give her the throttle! Holy. Will she start again or we gotta... Oh. Done. Maybe I can just wiggle it off the old, uh, the old battery here. This thing doesn't have posts, so I've just been kind of... Turn the key! Like, look at this job. That's professional right there. Try. <laughs> Come on, girl. Mother crapper. Oh, we're leaking. <laughs> ah, leaking something. Okay, round two. Let's get her going here. Definitely a derby truck. <laughs> so loud. Scared the horses. <laughs> Maybe we should stick to the Dodge for now. <laughs> that, thing, that thing is deadly. <laughs> turn it around. I have to go way over the field. How's she run? Oh, pretty good. Just gotta keep your foot on the gas, eh? I might take her home. Hopefully the horses aren't too mad. We gotta desensitize them to the stuff, yeah, anyways. Yeah, put some earplugs. Yeah, <laughs> put some earplugs on horses. Here, muffs. Well, what do you think? The Dodge or the uh, Contour? I don't know about the Contour. It's, it's pretty slick. Yeah, probably Dodge. She's got a 4x. I'll come give you a push back over here and then we'll uh, yep. go for a Ripski. Alright, let's give him a little push here. We lost our power steering in the, uh, the aggressive show last week. <laughs> She's slick.
far. Uh, all right, let's wrap this up <laughs> before we break anything else. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I think it's almost time to jump this thing or one of those cars over there. So hopefully we get a dry week, dry weekend. All right, we'll jump some stuff next week. All right, over and out.